I'm back down to one of my favourite bits of river and we're going to try doing not one but three or four quick studies down here this morning. I've got to pick up the post in two hours so I want to paint for a couple of hours to see if I can get a few of these little ones done. That's it here in the shade and I should be able to get three done. One that way, one that way and one that way. It saves me moving around. I'm going to start with this view, taking in this bit here. Then I'm going to come round and we'll look at this view here, a bit broader about there, and then we'll possibly have a go at this one here with the leaves coming into one side. So we're looking through a window in each what of them. What you've got to remember is that I'm working on a very small scale now, what I'm usually working on, and they might look a little bit crude close up like this, but from a distance they'll look just fine in frames. So away we go. The acrylics are drying very quickly in this weather anyway. Right, there we go. So what I want to start on, I've got a tree coming in here, I've got background colours, let's start as usual on the sky and we'll just get mosquitoes and things on the painting, it makes it look more real. <laughs> painting straight onto the MDF, don't have to prime it like this, in fact it's quite nice having the colour showing through. I want this to be a rapid study, just capturing the moment and the light and the time. Right down by the riverside, it gets very dark just down there, we're taking ultramarine. I'll put that in there, option is a much stronger blue of course. I'll try and get away with this, say the beauty of these filberts is that they can be used for thick and for thin so I can draw with them like this and make uh, quite fine marks as well as heavier marks straight away. Lovely cool colours coming down here and the shadows back here. Ultramarine, a little touch of yellow ochre to make a, a, a warmer dark green. Here in the foreground, still quite a medium tone. Looks like the lights on in a minute. I haven't got my lights mixed yet. I'm still going to mix those. I've got the darks in. A little bit of magenta into it now. The background here. Little mauve happening into the, into the background. Shine back into the light here. Alright, let's start to look at our lighter colours now. And through here, we've got this light shining up and through all the branches behind. Very, very light. Before I go much stronger with my colour. Way before. I'm just painting all these light areas, and I'm just light behind here. got to come much yellower and greener. Sunshine coming down through there. And I'm learning all the time. So these small paintings are very useful because they're going to teach me about other colours for the larger ones as well. And I'm using a much stronger yellow than I'd normally use to get the sunshine against the background lights here now. Makes much more sense. More very light colours here. Um, almost a light orange, I think. It's very, very light indeed. It's what they are. It's hard to know across quite what those. I'm going to try a little bit of. Um, right, it's not long enough on this one. I spent about half an hour on this, so 30 minutes is about right for what I'd expect to do on a study like this. Okay, next. I'm just uh, grab a rigger and try and put a signature onto that. Pretty difficult, I find, signing these very small works. There we go. Next on then. You can be about. changing the composition quite a bit. Um, 
and then grass is up here. So there we go, that will do a nice little composition. Okay, sky again. And this time I want to quite a pink sky. I'm going to make a dark rock. So my colours are going to improve and I'm going to find more. Over here, we need these darker colours here against the light. pressing harder at first and then softer afterwards. I can have a fish. And we've got some ripples of water coming down there. Well, I don't want to do too much more with this because I think I've captured enough without overdoing it. There we go, next one. And let's go smaller still. Set that up on here. Again, it's awkward because I've got this little piece here, which is. Uh, and drop it down to the fraction to there. And we'll start with brown and orange. A little bit more colour just there. Now, I'm going to have a slightly larger brush in the background. Branches going. <clears throat> so I need to make it very dark again. And of course, it's difficult for you to see it now because the sun's starting to shine on the painting itself. So we have to get the darks against the lights, against the darks, against the lights, against the darks constantly here. And feel these colours. Well, it's an interesting little study. Whatever I've captured it, I'm not sure. So, we'll do a signature on that one too. This time with a slightly lighter colour. sunlight but there we are there's the three of them those three paintings this morning. I'm in this gorgeous spot that I came down to the other evening to photograph. I'm going to do some work from those studies later. So I'm going to paint three or so smaller ones, maybe four smaller ones here. And then as the last light I hope to have enough energy left and wish to to paint the last light that comes through here a bit further down on a slightly larger canvas, a medium canvas, really push the colours for that. So yes we've done three already, we can do three or four more. I have to get the pace I need to do to get this exhibition ready in July. An absolutely gorgeous track for a few cars at the car park, but no sign of anybody at the moment. So let's get into this. The 
Okay, the first composition I want is this one, and then I want that one, and then we'll work our way across the uh, bank wall here. Bonjour Monsieur. Bonsoir. Bonsoir. Bien là. Bonjour, je pense que toi ce matin, je voudrais quatre ce ce soir. C'est une exposition à la Parc de Trees, j'espère, j'espère on je l'ai fait. Je ne sais pas si j'ai pensé beaucoup. Oh, c'est joli, la lumière, la ambiance, c'est tranquille, hein. Demeter. Demeter. Bonsoir. 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 Bonsoir
very warm to beach parks. It's so warm, it's, it's, it's almost tropical here at the moment. So there's our filter point. <coughs> Well, it's only the small ones, you don't have to go too far with this one, just enough to capture the essence. Right, let's move that. Right, this time I'm onto this scene here, and uh, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but it's into the light, so it could be interesting. Larger canvas, just a bit. Well, the rest of the wicked, of course, is ready, and off we go. Cobalt to the end, whatever it needs to be. I'm going to whack that in, just trying to wear it, put a little bit of a gentle into it. Lovely colour, straight into the background here with that. Different feel altogether working on this and not the, um, the board, of course. Big brush, get in there, make decisions. Don't pussyfoot. Decide what you want, where you want it, go for it. Turn on this white canvas before you can see what I'm doing.
I'm just going to show you the actual scene in a minute. So you get an idea of what I'm up against. And the beautiful light that's coming down through here now. So once I get loosened up and get going, I can start to do something that's a bit more worthwhile. I'm going to actually try and paint the sun into this in a minute because it's blowing through here beautifully and it would be a perfect opportunity to have a go at painting the light source actually into my artwork. So let's do that right now. See if it's tripping down through here and reflecting all these other leaves in the water. Really coming through here at me. You can start to see all sorts of wonderful things happening behind here. And uh, there you go. You can't beat painting on flying air, you just can't because you see something from a photograph. It does bleach out, and uh, you really can't achieve the beauty of the scene. If you're not working from real life, not really. I know it's a struggle, and Ken knows I struggle to get down there even the nice stuff tonight, and it's all that heavy weight to carry about. Whether it's successful, I don't know. So, I don't know, I've got time to think about it. Capture the moment in the light by uh, working as quickly as we can, sliding our colours, putting them in, we leave it alone. So we've built up our mid tones and our base colours, the darks, and then we've gone back to the lights again, finish off. And finally putting in the highlights. I haven't been pleased with the painting for a while, but I'm a bit more pleased with this one, I must admit. It's got the colour that I wanted to get. Right. But there we are, we've done seven paintings today, which is not just as many as I've ever done, and I've done bigger ones than the rest of the got going. So I wouldn't want to do more than seven. <laughs> well, I would, but I'm not going to. So there we are. And. There's the sun in the evening that we've just been painting. That beautiful scene. And it's a good way to finish the day, isn't it? So I hope you've all enjoyed that as much as I have. And it just shows you what you can do when you really push yourself and get going and enthusiastic. Put my heart into it again. Let's take a closer look at it for you. Painting full of light. There we are then, I'm quite pleased with this one. Got a nice painting I think, and uh, as good as I'm going to do this, and it certainly is a step forward, so let's just start pushing these colours more like this, shall we? Mm -hmm.